Hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. So this morning I did a quick 20-30 minute full body workout downstairs in the basement and it felt just so good to move. I actually got pretty sweaty so I'm very excited for my post-workout breakfast I'm about to make. And speaking of breakfast, today's video is actually going to be a what I eat in a weekend. I love watching what I eat in a day, so I'm very excited to film my first one for YouTube. I have done it before on Instagram, but this is going to be the first one for my channel. But I wanted to talk about what I eat in a day because sometimes they can be hard to watch and you might judge what you eat compared to someone else. This video is not supposed to do that whatsoever. I follow a very balanced eating lifestyle where yes, I make healthier choices, but it's what my body is craving at the time and every single day is different. So this video is just a little aspect of what I'm eating today. It's going to be different tomorrow and it was different yesterday. I wanted to put that out there just before this video got started, but without further ado, let's get into making some breakfast because your girl is starving. <laughs> you guys this looks so good i know it's simple just eggs and toast and this is the strawberry jam i get it's from costco it's the kirkland brand i like my eggs cooked the yolks cooked if they're runny no i won't eat them but this is delicious so i know i showed you guys these in my last video but since this is a what i eat in a weekend i have these every single day so i wanted to show them again to you so this is the reds powder and then this is the greens and they're in the flavor of natural berry and i just do the serving size which is two scoops of each fill a little cup up with water and i mix them with one of those frothers i feel like that mixes them the easiest i've just been drinking this while i get work done around the house but this is so good for your digestive health and your gut health and just overall like I feel better when I drink these just because of all the probiotics, the digestive enzymes. Like I'm going to show you guys the nutritional effects of these really fast if it will focus. Like this superfood complex is right here. This is a balanced blend. All of these plant enzymes, all of these things that are in both of these products are good for you. And I actually just realized that they have to-go sticks of each of these. So if you're like out and about on the go and you don't have like a glass where you can mix it up, easy enough, you can just pop it in a water bottle, mix it there, and then you have it when you're out and about. So I love these and I will continue taking them every single day. So like I said before, every day of eating is different. I had a little bit later of a breakfast today, meaning lunch really depends. I could be starving or I just could be just wanting to munch on something. And today is definitely one of those days I'm in the munchy mood. And when I have that craving of a snack, I definitely go for more of the sweet things rather than salty. I don't know why I'm more of a fruit chocolate kind of gal rather than like a peanut and pretzel. So I went on TikTok, found some different healthier desserts that I thought we can make together because I am in the sweet snack mood. And maybe if you are, this will give you some inspiration to make some recipes that you have never tried before. So I'm very excited to get into it. We have some blueberry protein muffins first and they sound delicious. So maybe once those are done and I'm making the other snacks, I can munch on those if they're good so i think i'm going to rate each one they're all quick and easy i think that they're, they're all under 30 minutes i think this is the longest and it takes 20. but i know once under five minutes they all span in different categories of things but this is the sad part none of these recipes include chocolate because we are out of chocolate chips at my parents house which is fine because it's my fault because I made chocolate chip waffles yesterday. So this is really going outside of my box because normally I'm a chocolate person. But let's get into the recipe making and I'm excited to bring you guys along. 
Who doesn't love treats, especially when they are healthy? So let's get into it. So like I said before, I got all of these recipes off of TikTok. So I did screen record them so I knew where they were. But first up are the blueberry protein muffins. They look super simple. Just throw everything into a bowl. And I'll show you what all ingredients we have to put in. I have to go get a muffin tin and then I think we're good to go. So I'll show you the ingredients. So starting up is the flour base that we have for the muffins and this is just actually oat flour. So what I do is I take the oats and this is one cup of oats. I take the oats and I pop them into a blender and I just blitz them in the blender and it comes out looking like this amazing oat flour. And then we're also adding protein to these muffins. I don't know if I said this before. This is the vanilla flavor and this one's a vegan protein so it's a rice and a pea blend. If you can do whey protein I would suggest doing whey but this is my very favorite protein that I take. And then there's other like little things so we're adding the recipe calls for Greek yogurt and I thought that this blueberry Greek yogurt would be perfect to go into it since we're doing blueberry muffins an egg, baking powder, and these are actually just frozen blueberries. I looked it up and you can do frozen or fresh. So we're gonna do all of that, add it into the bowl, get a muffin pan, and I'll show you guys the assembly process of everything. I'm about to throw this yogurt in there, and look at all the liquid on top. I know that is normal, but that is gross. I'm sorry. But gross. I know you have to mix it in and all that, but still, I had to point it out because why? Like, does anyone know what this liquid is? I'm very curious. My best friend didn't care about those good on the weekends. I'll be in fools drifting the deep space. Okay, and then the last thing is, is just folding in the blueberries. That was so simple. All you have to do is there was like no step, just threw it all together. And now I'm just putting all of these blueberries in there. So I think the frozen blueberries turn the batter purple. But if you just use like regular blueberries, I don't think it would do this. But let's put them in the muffin tins. So we definitely got four good sized muffins. And I mean, obviously if you were to do the smaller muffin tins, you would get more muffins out of it if you're feeding more people than just yourself, whatever. And now we are going to set the timer for 20 minutes and put them in at 350 degrees Fahrenheit into the oven. You don't take like a little lick of the batter like what are you doing oh the lemon those are lemon cookies for sure then I'm just gonna take a little fork full of each one and we're just gonna plop them on here I feel like these would be good with like raspberries or even Maybe like white chocolate. I know white chocolate isn't vegan, but I'm not vegan, but um, this recipe, I feel like white chocolate would be good with this because these are super sour. The lemon is like overpowering. But, so this made five solid cookies. I feel like I should wait, but they smell delicious and I am hungry, so I am going in. Oh no, I just tested them with a knife they're still like kind of runny. Like a little goo doesn't bother me, but if I'm trying these for the very first time, I need them to be perfection. So I think like one or two more minutes and they should be good. So this next one is literally the most simple of simple. Under five minutes. Well, actually it's literally under two minutes. I thought this would be perfect for like an on the go. And I've done an idea like this before, but I haven't done the exact thing. So you're only gonna need three ingredients for this one. And it's gonna be dates so they just come in these boxes of them so you're going to need dates i have almond butter or you can do peanut butter and then i have just some coconut chips now i know some people are not a big coconut fan so what i think this is 
me my opinion I think instead of coconut you could do chocolate chips I've done that before and it's delicious or like cover them in chocolate so we're gonna get into this this is literally gonna take 30 seconds I'm pretty sure you can buy them pitted but these do have pits inside so you're gonna just gonna squeeze and open them to take the pit out we're gonna take that out then what we're gonna do is take our knife and just we're gonna add a little scoop -a of oh geez of the almond butter you're gonna add the almond butter onto the date sprinkle some coconut chips right on top now this recipe on TikTok, they don't have you freeze them but i feel like if you froze them it would be good and i'm just gonna try this for you right now but it's like the perfect little snack and if you don't like coconut again put chocolate on it i bet it would be good mm -hmm. because i said i was only gonna put them in for two minutes longer and look what happened to them oh my god I feel like they're still going to taste really good though. A little crusty on the top. Now I'm going to try these. This taste test of the blueberry. It definitely collapsed first off. I think they need to cool. But here we go. These are amazing. You're my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends I'll be in fools, drifting to deep space So brave and so stupid, just like the movies How it's gonna stay in the fight with you Just thinking we would do this So I know that these are not the prettiest of things But we spread the mixture on the apples And I'm gonna throw them into the oven for like 15 or 20 minutes I hope they turn out good Here's the apple. Can I give this a try? These are 12 out of 10. 12 out of 10. Amazing. The cr this part gets crusty, so it adds a bit of texture to it. 1,000% we'll be making these again. Got the goods. We got Corito for dinner and we just got it to go. We're gonna take it home and eat. Today we're in the mood to just go home and sit and eat at home. But Corito is like a kava if you are from an area that has kava around, or it's just like a Mediterranean Chipotle. So today I um, love uh, I love Corito. Sophia loves Corito. And she just had a really long day of school. PT, training, all of that. So she's very tired and I'm just ready to like lay at home and just eat this and watch a movie. And but I got, maybe I'll just show you at home what I got, but this size is pretty good. And they load it with vegetables, protein, the dressing. So yeah, I'm very excited for Credo. And this is like definitely a healthier, I would say, wouldn't you say it's a healthier yeah. like to go place? So Chick-fil-A did sound really good, but she wasn't in the mood for it, so. We got Curito instead, but on our way home, and we have a special guest in the car. This one, it's your talk time. Mm. He's been loving it. He loves to go in the car rides with us, especially he'll like pop in right here and just sit in the car with us. But on our way home, and I will show you what I got when we get there. So this is mine, but here is Sophia's. I didn't realize that I got the regular rice bowl, but she got a salad. I was gonna say, yours has a lot more greens on yours. Okay, explain what's in yours. So it's arugula, lettuce, and kale, and like a mix of greens. And then it's corn, a corn salad, um, ch curry chickpeas that are really good. I was gonna say, there's chickpea, definitely chickpeas in there. Um, chicken, caramelized onions, tomatoes, feta, cheese. And creamy cashew sauce. That looks good. All right, she's gonna go. And oh, eat and that. rice. And rice. So in mine, I have white rice on the bottom, and then I have kale, and then tomatoes, cucumber, chicken, hummus, feta cheese, and like green onions. So I'm gonna maybe I'll put the lid on and shake it all, but this looks so good. So here's my meal tonight, and you know what? I know that there are healthier soda options out there. Like I've heard of 
poppy like drink poppy i think before and olipop so if you've heard of those so i need you to comment down below your favorite soda whatever it is healthy or not and then i need you to let me know if olipop or like a healthy soda brand i need you to tell me some recommendations because I want to start looking for some but for right now we're sticking with this and we are going to eat our curito i really have only eaten those treats i probably ate way too many of them but i ate those treats and like my eggs and toast this morning that's all i've had so i'm going to devour this <laughs> so we are ending this day of eating with some strawberries i have right here and then i have some dark chocolate as well I'm a big dark chocolate fan. I'm not a fan of milk chocolate at all. I'd rather go for a semi-sweet and not a fan of white, but dark is my favorite. And I have this whole big mess behind me. You can see I'm actually heading back to Columbus tomorrow, so I have to pack up literally everything. I have been home for like three weeks, so I brought a bunch of things with me, and like we had that trip, and like I had to pack for Christmas and like all of that kind of stuff so I have to take all of it back to Columbus tomorrow and I have to take back the things I got for Christmas like I got this huge air fryer for Christmas which I'm very very excited to start using and that will be something that I'm going to be showcasing to you guys in the in these next coming videos um but I have a lot of traveling and like heavy lifting and moving tomorrow so I will be showing you guys what I'm going to be eating tomorrow maybe we'll have a chit chat on the way back to Columbus tomorrow morning but I have to get this room organized because it's giving me a lot of anxiety right now because nothing is packed away and I'm leaving in the morning so gonna munch on the strawberries and dark chocolate get ready for bed and I will see you guys tomorrow morning probably gonna have a cup of coffee because we're gonna have a long day tomorrow but Love you guys and good night. So this morning was a busy one, but now I have to put on some hand sanitizer because I do not know if you're like me, but the gas stations, like, they are dirty. Like, I just am icky about certain things, and gas stations are, like, one of those things where even, like, during a pandemic season or not, hand sanitizer is the way so what I packed in the car because I did not have time to make myself some breakfast I actually just brought one of those blueberry muffins that I made yesterday during our little baking session that we had and then I brought my big hydro jug full of water because I know I talked about this on my Instagram story yesterday that this part is the best part of the hydro jug the little straw so I can sit here when I'm driving and just drink my water need to stay hydrated when i drive i feel like i always get in such a bad habit of not filling a water bottle or like bringing a water bottle with me so i actually think i'm gonna go get a coffee because there's a starbucks right across the street and iced coffee just sounds so good yes it is only 19 degrees outside but i'm a person who i love my iced coffee especially in the morning and i feel like it would be good with my blueberry muffin so we are going home to Columbus. I have to unload. I'm going to go pick up Noah. And he's going to help me unload all of this stuff into my apartment. And you guys have not seen my apartment yet. So I'm very excited to show you. Um, so we have to get all of this stuff loaded up into the apartment. I kind of want to get it maybe just not organized yet. But just throw them up. Hour and a half drive. Probably pop on a podcast. I like listening to The Health Code by Sarah's Day. I absolutely love her and I've been obsessed with her for years now. I remember I would binge watch her videos like my freshman year of college and I would just sit there in my bed or like at my desk and just watch like 10 videos at a time and their podcast, they do like short snippets of like 5, 10 minute episodes every single day and I love them because not only are they like funny but they give such good information not just about health and fitness but like relationship um, like she's pregnant right now so a lot of her content is pregnancy based yes I am not pregnant but it is nice to learn for my future life and for me being a future mom so I know this is kind of been chit chatty but just wanted to update you on the situation and what's going on right now so gonna head to Starbucks get on the road get home get Noah and unload this because my car needs to be empty I, I just can't have it this full right now
You look at me like I'm crazy. Okay, I like candy. When I shut my feelings down. You look at me like I'm different. Still, you stay cause you feel something real. Get so lost in my moments. Doesn't mean I don't need you. There's so much shit in this car. <laughs> Hello! So it's a little while later and I'm about to reorganize my entire room, but I'm having a little snack because I'm getting hungry. All I've had today is that coffee and muffin and it's way past noon. I think it's like one, one o'clock, but I'm gonna have this protein bar and get to organizing my entire room. Like everything is spread out right now and I need to fix it. Nobody can see it, yeah, still they want to tear Thank us you. apart There's something different about the way we are, are. I got you, sweetie Um, I think so Yeah That one has strawberry banana mango pineapple Pro Pea protein I know we got picked up last night, but we got picked up again we have, oh my gosh, all the chips. There are a ton in here. Kinda, we got way too many chips. We could've got one for both of us. So we got two bags of chips. And then, I think this is your taco coming. How do you know Wait, that? Cause there's two tacos in here. I only got one. I know, so one for her or oh. one for you. Hey, do you want me to get your baby bop out? No, I'm gonna get it after this. Then Kenna got queso. I got salsa because I don't like melted cheese. If you didn't know about that about me, yeah. melted cheese is a no go. But she got that, I got the salsa. And then I'm excited. Look how good this looks. Damn, it does look good. Doesn't that look good? Yeah, it does. Like no, that's the chimichurri sauce I was talking about. Like the cilantro. Oh, oh there's cilantro. Yeah. Cilantro, like a bunch of herbs yeah. on it. Here's this. I know it probably looks like the same bowl I got last night. Like, yeah, look how chicken. good that looks. Yeah. And then I'm dipping the chips in that. And we got salsa on the side. This is gonna be so good. I'm so excited. I haven't had a proper meal yet today. I had a protein bar, a muffin that I made yesterday, and that smoothie. But I'm gonna take. Wait, is there a fork over there for me? Yep. Okay, cool. You can totally tell by the sound of my voice, but good morning, everyone. It is Sunday, and Noah and I are just having a very chill morning. We are actually making, or he is making, are you making waffles or pancakes? Waffles. Waffles. So we have this Kodiak cake mix. You got it from Kroger? Noah? Yeah. You got it from Kroger, so I personally really like Kodiak cakes. So we are making these today for breakfast. But the unfortunate thing is, is we checked and he does not have any syrup in his house. So what I think we're gonna do is just gonna melt some peanut butter and use that. Maybe we'll like put some berries on top, I don't know. But we are doing these for breakfast. So here are our waffles and Noah's gonna pour the peanut butter. We just put that some in the bowl and put it in the microwave. Oh yeah, that looks really good. Sunday morning breakfast. Noah made the waffle peanut butter concoction and it looked really good but I think since we didn't have maple syrup or any like sweetener syrup to go on top they were so dry and we took the first bite and we were like do you like these and they were neither one of us enjoyed them so we just sat and watched church we were looking at places on uber eats and uber eats i think is very convenient and i personally use it all the time but when it comes to certain things the delivery charges are absolutely absurd like the places that we were ordering from are normally kind of more expensive so the order wasn't like too too bad but then when you add the delivery charge on top of it and you're not even getting your food for like another 45 minutes we were like it's pointless just to order this like church is gonna be over in the moment so I think I'm just gonna make some oatmeal when I get home Starbucks sounds good but I think I, I had it yesterday and I just don't think I'm gonna order any today but we're gonna head on home make some oatmeal and get started for the day because I have a lot of work to do yes it's a Sunday 
but I have to edit this video actually and so I'm going to end it here I hope you guys enjoyed this what I eat in a weekend I know I said in the beginning of the video but I genuinely love watching these because I think it's nice seeing what people order when they go out to eat like you guys saw I got takeout two nights and that's what I feel like I normally do on the weekend some sort of like to go takeout or we go out to dinner on a Friday or a Saturday but this weekend just happened to be both nights and we got to do that little baking like recipes those four like healthier treats so don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel your support genuinely helps me out and I'm very very grateful for each and every one of you we are about to hit 10k on Instagram so if you're not following me on Instagram please go and do that and if you love TikTok like I do I can literally binge and watch TikToks every single day you can go follow me there at the username Lily Richardson 89 I will put it on the screen as well you guys are staying healthy and well and I will see you in the next video bye on a scale from one to ten how are the waffles negative seven <laughs> they were terrible what do you want to say to end off the vlog goodbye goodbye love you this is gonna be really close love you see you tomorrow